Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, hope everyone is doing fantastic. I know I've been a little bit short on the content in the last couple of weeks. My life's just a little bit of chaos at the moment. I'm doing well, um, but yeah, it's hard. I'm sort of sort of in between, you know, new figures coming in and um, older figures being stuck in storage at the moment, which is a, which is a bit annoying, but. I'm here, I picked something up today and I want to sort of show you a little walkthrough for something I've been planning for a while. So as you can see in front of you I have the Black Series Mandalorian which if you're like me, um, you know this this helmet sculpt has left much to the imagination like this one is probably one of the better ones I've seen but it's still you know, it's still warped, it's still out of whack, but I've complained about them before, you know, they're sort of cut across and it just doesn't look that good. Um, so I've seen this trick used by a few other people. Um, so I'm going to do it myself and uh, I think I'll end up with a slightly better looking figure. Afterwards, um, it'd be nice for Hasbro to go back to the drawing board and fix the helmet on these Mandos. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. And standing alongside is the new sort of 3 POA, 4 POA, 4 POA sort of budget release that come in the box. Um, these have started showing up at Kmart here in Australia for 10 bucks each. Now the appealing thing of this is obviously the helmet. The sculpt's nice. There's no sort of paint detail. The bottom half, you know, it's just, it's black. Not all stuff like a dark brown, a little bit of light brown for the belt, um, and your silver for the armor. That's pretty much all you're getting for this figure. Uh, five points of articulation, head, arms, waist. That's it. That's all you're getting. So for ten bucks, you can't really complain. So I decided to pick this one up for the helmet. So if you look at the shape of the the helmet, it's sort of got that real nice taper from the back through down to the. I say the chin, the bottom of the T-visor, it comes around. And overall, it's just a nicer looking aesthetic helmet. It's, you know, strong, it's sturdy, it's not molded onto anything else. It's just the helmet, that's all it is. So that is a simple, you know, you can use a little bit of hot water or a hairdryer just to loosen that up, but it does come off quite easily. It's pretty tough, you know, this thing is just tough plastic. No sort of rubber elements or anything. Um, so yeah, if we compare side by side, so as you can see, mine has a custom soft goods cape, so I'm going to pop that off. And we'll get a look at these side by side. So yeah, an ever so slight difference in size, but you can sort of see what I mean there, just that sort of shape. It's just not there in the Black Series, and I know it's because they've uh, gone for the uh, head inside. So that when they can do Din Djarin's head, they can just pop a helmet over the top of it. But it just hasn't come out right. And it's pretty much suffered the Mandalorian figures since the beginning. Whereas the TVC the Vintage Collection 3 and 3 quarter inch scale stuff, they've absolutely nailed that. Bang on the head. Perfect. Awesome. Paint apps could be a little bit left to be desired, but for the most part, it's pretty good. So the main issue we have here is the head size. Now this one I have drilled out a little bit, that's why it looks a little bit rough. Um, that was just so I could do an easy head swap between this one and the unmasked Din Djarin head, so that's okay. So this that's going to take some boiling to get on this figure on the 5 POA or the 3 POA budget release, so I will do that because you know I'd still like to display this somewhere and you know to put a head back on it, it looks fine. So we're going to get that out of the way because we don't need that now. What we have is the Black Series body and the head. Now it is, you know, it's a loose fit. It's, you know, it's gonna fall off. So what I've got here is a little bit of blue tack. Now later on down the line, I'll get some, probably some hard setting plaster or um, like green stuff that um, people use for Warhammer. And um, yeah, so I've just added that just to create a little bit of bulk. Popping it in, just giving it a good wriggle around. And there we have, you know, if it was the tiniest little bit bigger, I think it would be absolutely perfect. But for me, this is so much better. 
And again, the SH Figure Arts figure, which is a lot bigger, a lot of articulation, etc. Probably worth the money, yeah, sure. Um, but even then, that head looks out of scale, whereas this one now looks a lot better. Jetpack still needs a paint. <laughs> that should be the same colour as this. And because I have glued the jetpack on, I can't actually remove it. Otherwise, I probably would have put this sort of simple cape over the back. Sort of, because that actually looks quite good. It's not, you know, Hasbro's been reusing the same sort of rubber molded sort of soft good poncho that sort of, you know, it's, it's the same thing molded again and again and again in slightly different colors. So there's what I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you can go and give this a shot. Go pick up your budget Mandos. It's not bad. It's a, you know, it's an affordable way. I know they're probably only like five bucks in the States, but uh, 10 bucks down here in Australia is still not too bad. But uh, yeah, that's looking much better. Just the shape, the direction you can have it pointed, like have him looking much better. Fantastic stuff. So let's hope in the future the Hasbro gets on the Black Series Mando, fixes him up, really just perfects that helmet mold, and uh, we won't have to complain about it ever again. <laughs> Alright folks, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Appreciate all your support despite my slight absences and stuff like that, but uh, I'm still still around, still kicking, still doing great, so thank you for all your support, especially to my members. Uh, you guys absolutely rock. Um, I can't wait to get back into the swing of things. Um, hopefully I can get some videos together, some figures coming soon, you know, etc, etc. But uh, yeah, we'll speak to you soon. Until then, may the force be with you, always.